are stronger, stronger than the strong. Hey, you are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the great. Hey, you are bigger. Yes, you are. Celebrate Jesus. Somebody exalt his name. Somebody love the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Give him praise. Hallelujah. I come to hear you, AMI. Hallelujah. Your time has come. I receive it. Give Jesus the highest praise. I receive it. Somebody's victory has come. I receive it. Your season of manifestation. I receive it. It shall manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus. That which you've been waiting for shall manifest. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Give him the highest praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When the praises go up, hallelujah, his glory hallelujah. comes down. Hallelujah, Somebody hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. 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 to Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yahweh. I am telling you, the next 72 hours mm. will define somebody's future. I receive the, it. The, 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 there are things that the Lord has for you. Nobody can take it from you. I receive You will it. get it. The devil like it or no. no. I receive it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not an announcement. This is a prophetic imposition. I receive it. You will all get it. The devil like it or oh, no. not. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You, you, you are forbidden to leave this place the same way you walked in. Uh, look at the person next to you. Say, say it's forbidden. It's, it's forbidden. It's forbidden. Glory you will to not Jesus. leave this place the same way you walked I in. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hey. Now find three people, give them a high five. A high Hallelujah. Five. A high five. Glory to Jesus. You're selling something. You're selling something. I receive it. Woo! Hey. Glory to Jesus. Well, those of you who are here for the IVP, we will all raise altars together. Amen. And I am saying this. I am saying it in the name of the Lord. Amen. This time mm. is your time. I receive it. I mean, this is an appointed time. Even as you raise altars, 
there are things as a child of God that you did not see. You prayed for, you had hope for, you had a seed for, did not manifest. This is the ninth month mm. of this year, 2019. Jesus, I was saved. Now, the ninth month is our month of manifestation. Whatever a woman receives. Whatever a woman carries after nine months must manifest. In Jesus' name. Hear me. Your life will never be the same. I receive. I need you to believe it. Because my righteous shall live by faith. Amen. I need you not just to scream it, to shout it. I want you to believe it. Amen. If I can get you believe, I can get you receive. Amen. You, you, you have to experience Yahweh, mm. the everlasting God, the uncreated creator, oh God, the eternal self-existing mm. one. Jesus. You, you have to have an encounter with him. I will save. Moses said, do not allow us to live if you will not walk with us. Amen. Because there is a time where you get tired to be tired. This is that time where you say, God, I want something bigger, greater. Amen. And the Lord will do just that. I don't know how many people it. have come tonight believing how many people I have faith tonight? It. If it is you, wave to me. I receive. I see an army of men and women mm. will walk in power. An I army of men and women will be the reflection of God on earth. I Everywhere you it. go, Jesus. men and women will look to your God. For you will reflect his glory I everywhere you are. It. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now, we will have a number of things taking place. Those of you especially who are here from far, you came from the IVP. Or even if you're a prophetic IVP, you're next door, but you are in the IVP. I want you to know that we will spend time tonight to be together. Tomorrow, full day, I would be with you. Full day. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I will personally, I will personally pray and touch all of you. You still... Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Yeah. So it will be personal. I, I, I will really. It doesn't matter how many we are. I will pray for each one of us. I'll touch you. I'll lay hands on you. Hallelujah. Now, we, we may not have a full time to dance together. But even if we don't dance together or jump together, but I will have that touch together. In the name of Jesus. Somebody receive. You know, Many years ago, before beginning my ministry, I had an encounter with Jesus. I keep on saying the same story because that is really a defining story to me. He appeared to me, he told me about many things. Among the things that he said, this one I say with you today, as I said before, he told me my hands, meaning my hands, are not mine. He said, your hands are my hands. And he said to me, whatever you will touch, it will not be you touching, it will be me touching. Glory to Jesus. I receive it. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. Over the years, over the years since I got a word, I, I, I built my faith on that. I stood on the word. I, I have seen it. I have seen things that are unbelievable. And I give God glory because I know, I understand from the onset mm. that uh, he said it will not be my hands it will be his hand therefore I don't take part or share his glory I give all the glory back unto Hallelujah. God 
Glory to Jesus. So we will spend time together tomorrow and on Sunday, the first service, the second service, the third service, the glory of God will be here. I believe that you'll go back with something. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Lord had spoken to me vividly to do something prophetic. It is uh, not something magical. It is something prophetic. He told me to give everyone who comes who will be with me in the moment of the IVP a stone, a white stone. Hallelujah. Now, there is no specific power in that white stone. It didn't fall from heaven. We got them. I have them laid on my altar, on my office. I'm praying for it. I, as I was speaking to my staff, I'm speaking to every stone. I'm touching every stone. My job is hard. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean it. I pray for everyone. I anoint everyone. I touch everyone. I pray even for stones. I touch every stone. And, <laughs> glory to Jesus. But hear me good. I cannot go through all this trouble and you remain average. In the name of the Jesus. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. I see you mounting up wings like an eagle. You are about to go places. I receive it. I say it. you are about to go places. I receive it. I, 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 this is not just a church. And I'm not just a pastor. Mm -hmm. I'm a spirit. You are about to encounter God as you have never encountered him. Before, how many I people am I talking to? Receive it. So shall it be. In Jesus it cannot name. be otherwise. otherwise. Show me your son of victory. This is your prophecy. This Amen. is your proclamation of faith. Amen. You always win. I always win. Let the devil hear you. Let I sickness and disease win. hear you. You I always win. win. You win, they lose. I win, they lose. I say you win, they, they lose. lose. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now, if you're not part of the IVP, don't feel bad. Mm -mm. You can't be under the rain and remain wet. Okay. Remain and not be wait, not be wait, not be wait. Amen. If you are in the rain, the only possibility for you to remain dry is if you have an umbrella of doubt, umbrella of unbelief. Mm. But I see somebody doing away with his umbrella. I receive it in the name of Jesus. This weekend, for those of you present here, those of you are watching from around the world, something will happen to you, to your family, Somebody to your wishing. loved ones, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Now, while I have all of you standing, I want to lead you to a small prayer. In the past few days, our country, especially our province and our city, Johannesburg, was shaken by many happenings. We had riots, brothers stood against brothers, and so many things that many of you came to be aware of through the news and um, various social media platform happened. We have cried before God because whatever happened does not represent the country, its people, its leadership. We who are spiritual mm. see things with a spiritual eye. That's right. We know the devil and his hand when we see one. Yes. 
And uh, we move from pointing finger on each other, mm. trying to find answers in the natural realm, for there is no answer in the natural realm. <laughs> Around the world, those of you who are watching me right now, you may be feeling that maybe there is fire there. Let me tell you, the only fire right now here is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh yes. Oh yes. Glory to Jesus. It is time for the church to take his right position. Mm -hmm. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, turn from the wicked ways and oh call ah, and pray, I will yeah, hear from, from heaven. heaven. I will forgive their sins, sins and I will heal the land. land. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Johannesburg will not fall in the hand of the devil. In Jesus' name. South Africa belongs to Jesus and Amen. will not fall in the hand of the devil. Devil. In the name of as Jesus. As long as the church of God will be here, we say no to crime, Amen. no to racism, Amen. not to abuse against women. Amen. We say no to xenophobia Amen. in the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Mm. Therefore, my precious one, again, I want you to take a minute with me mm. to call on the only God who has answers when our own mind, skills, and talent have failed us. Mm. He said, if you call on me, I will answer you. Thank you, Jesus. If we pray, the Lord will heal the soul of our land. Amen. The anger, the hatred, that have been displayed has nothing to do with culture it has to do with the hand of the enemy but today we take authority yes. against every force of hell in the name of jesus Amen. and we call on our lord for the healing of our land. Will you lift your hand and pray for Johannesburg? Let's pray for South Africa. Let's pray against xenophobia. Let's pray against crime. Let's pray against abuse of our women, our sisters, our mothers. We call on you. Jesus. We thank you for the healing of our land. The land of Nelson Mandela. Reba Soto. South Africa. Jesus. We pray for the continent. We pray for unity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We give you all the glory, all the praise, now and ever. Amen. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we pray and together we say, 
Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. Today we have heard the passing of the former president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Former President Robert Mugabe. And allow me to sincerely present my condolences to the nation of Zimbabwe, to his family and friends in particular. Some of you love him and are in tears, while others may not care. I remember meeting the president who was now late once for about five minutes. And in that five minutes, it's like a lot that had to be said or a lot that could have been said in five hours was said in five minutes. It gave me an impression of two different people. The one I see on TV, on the news, and the one I met. I was perplexed in the level of understanding intelligence and the library that he exposed in front of me all that in five minutes. As they say, for good or for bad, may his soul rest in peace. Amen. It is with great joy that I see all of us from all over many faces that I keep on seeing in most of the IVP people, men and women coming from very far. But I see here my sons, servants of God, apostles, pastors, ministers from uh, uh, Australia, from uh, Asia, from uh, Europe, from uh, different parts of America who are present here. I want you to stand up if it is you, you have come. I want you to stand up and put our hands together for them. Glory Wherever to Jesus. God bless you. God I am I, you. I can't hear you. Honor my sons. God bless you. Look at them. Beautiful. God bless you. Please have a seat. Amen. It is good to see Joel Francis in particular. He had a great work in DRC with his church. As you know, he leads a church called uh, Porte de Cieux, uh, the doors to heaven. And uh, he had about 21 days of uh, non-stop praying. He was dealing with uh, altars. Mm. And after that, he decided to come and have a... Will you stand again? Put your hands together for my precious Glory son, to Jesus. Joel Francis. Hallelujah. Love you, son, and I'm proud of you. Very proud of you. God bless you. Will you lift your hands? A number of things that will be done this weekend begins today. Mm. Mm. While I am closing a chapter, another is being opened. Mm. I began speaking about pursuing a high anointing. And today I had promised to close this chapter. But the closing of this chapter represent or is the beginning of another chapter a chapter of greater glory greater dimension of power we will focus on you knowing your god and experiencing your god i receive it lift your hands father we pray even as we go through your word that you speak to us Yes, Lord. I present myself as a simple instrument in your hand. Look beyond my shortfalls and speak your word to your people. Spirit of God, make clear in the mind and in the souls of everyone under the sound of my voice, both present, physically, and streaming live, that you alone are God and beside you there is no God. Amen. Today, I proclaim that there will be manifestation and outpouring of mm. an increasing 
level of power mm. in your sons and your daughters. Amen. Use my vocal cord, oh God, and speak to your people in the name which is above every name, the name Jesus, I have prayed. Amen. And together we say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to please bear with me as I take you through a new journey, a journey of the word of God. The Bible says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. You cannot know God unless you know him through his word. His word is the revealing of his will. If you want to see the glory of God, embrace his word. God is in his word. And tonight, allow me to say that whatever you came looking for is wrapped in the word. I receive it. If you will get the word, you will get your miracle. Somebody lift your hand for a miracle. I, receive I pray for you today that the miracle power of God reach you in the name of Jesus. That, that you may experience a miracle tonight in the name it. of Jesus. Jesus. I began speaking on pursuing a high anointing. The anointing is the power of God. An anointed man is a powerful man who walks with God. The anointing is God's own ability to execute his will that he gives you for the assignment he has given you. Once you are anointed, you have God's ability, the ability that God has so he may fulfill his own assignment to bless his people, to open doors for them, to do whatever is in his heart. He takes the same ability and gives it to you. That's why someone who's anointed must always recognize that what I have working through me did not come from me. Amen. Understanding that is key because it pushes you to give back glory to God and not to yourself. Anointing. Without the anointing, you are unable to fulfill the assignment of God on earth. That's right. What God has asked you to do requires his power before it is fulfilled. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why, as we read the first chapter of the book of Acts, verse 8, Jesus Christ, who himself taught for three and six months, three years and six months, his chosen 12 did not allow them to go minister but he said remain in Jerusalem until you receive power he was talking about that power that comes to you and reveals itself as the anointing until the anointing for what I have positioned you for until the anointing for what I have set before you comes upon you when the spirit of the living God comes because when the spirit of God comes he gives you that anointing today the Lord through his spirit will anoint your head in the name I'm of Jesus that. Christ so he has said to his disciples do not go and begin to see to say and do what you saw me say what you heard me say and saw me do before you receive the anointing. Meaning this, after Bible school, after being trained, after having a lot of understanding, if you do not have oil on your head, you will still fail in the battlefield. Yes. The ecclesiast, the preacher, the speaker, the man who spoke with wisdom, ecclesiast, in chapter 9, verse 8, the Bible says, Let your garment always be white and let your head lack no oil. I am praying for you tonight that you may not live here with a dry head. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Let your head no lack oil. 
there will be oil on your head today in the name of it. Jesus. Now I began to break down what is the anointing. I have said the anointing is the oil that makes your engine function. You will not have a running engine without the oil. In the spiritual realm here, this oil is the anointing. Lift your hand and say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Anoint me today. Anoint me today. I beseech you to please understand that I'm not just making you speak because I love hearing the sound of your voice. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Mm. Those who succeed in life understand that the spiritual realm is built on two essential things. Words and altars. You can't be seated and allow it to pass you. You got to pray so you may enter into contact with that which God has already activated for you. Say, today! Today! I claim my anointing. I claim my anointing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, please be seated. I hope that I am not putting too much fire on you, keeping you standing. Today something has to happen. I receive it. Uh, 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 the devil like it or not, it is not negotiable. Uh, something will happen. I receive I don't know how many people are here having faith to receive. How many people watching me have faith to receive. Leo, Leo, tonight is your night. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Kindly be seated. I spoke about the anointing and I have presented to you this simple truth that, that though the anointing may be found in different category of our assignment and our lives, and such anointing that is found in different categories of our assignment and lives may carry different names. But there are four essential levels of the anointing. And speaking to you about a high anointing, I am speaking to you about a dimension of the anointing, a level of the anointing. I am trying to be like one of my lecturers that are used to take us literally step to step to the understanding of the subject. I don't want to rush myself and leave you behind. I want you to be with me. The kingdom of God is literally founded on two essential truths. If you want to understand how the kingdom functions, you must understand that the kingdom is made of seasons, time. Even God blessing you, he makes everything beautiful in its time. There is a time, Ecclesiastes, to say, to cry. There is also time to rejoice. Why time? Because the kingdom of God is made of season or time. On the other hand, the kingdom of God is made of dimensions and levels. That's why though we have one God, but we still see three in one. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The army of angels in heaven are still separated and placed in different boxes on categories. We have different angels. Not all the angels are in the same levels. We have no more angels and we have archangels and so forth. Why? Because they are levels, they are dimensions. Not every singer in the body of Christ is of the same level. Not every intercession, intercessors are of the same level. Not all the pastors are of the same levels. We read the word and discover that some pastor or some prophet were presented as minor prophet, while others as major prophet. Why? Because in the kingdom of God, you have to know levels. When I'm speaking about the anointing 
and I'm saying pursuing a high anointing, I am here pointing to a level that is higher than the level you know. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm. I say it again. I am pointing to a level that is higher then the level you know, the level you are acquainted with. I know certain people or some of you have been good in what you do. You cast out devils and you have to repeat yourself about hundred times before the devil that notice that you are casting him out. But this time before you just finish your sentence, that we devil will up back and in go. In the name of Jesus. My name is Aflook. I receive it. I speak in his name, mm. Jesus. Mm. A level higher mm. than the level we know, please. I uh, be seated. It. And speaking to you of the four levels in the anointing, I told you that the first level of the anointing is a more standard level. And this Standard level is not to be neglected because not everyone is anointed. Everyone in God should be anointed, but not everyone is anointed. That's why it is say, do not allow your head to lack oil because your head may be dry. So the first level, which is a standard level, is not a level to take lightly. When somebody is anointed, such a person will be able to succeed in everything he does. The anointing will keep you first, will keep you ahead, will keep you in front. So when somebody carries the oil, you can tell. Glory to Jesus. And I will say that that musician is so anointed that when he holds the microphone, you shiver. You are taken in the presence of God. They will tell you that that intercessor, when he begins to pray, something happens. It's like there is vibration in the atmosphere. When they are saying all that, they're pointing on somebody who's carrying oil. That is the standard level. Already with the standard level of the anointing, you are distinguished. You have success. You have victory. You have speed and acceleration. That is the normal level, which more and more in my cry, I said to the Lord, please change things around. For more and more, it is rare to see men and women who are truly anointed. The second level I spoke about is a superior anointing. A superior anointing is not just an anointing. It's an anointing in a dimension higher than any dimension you can ever have in that quest or in that mission. Meaning, if you're going to be a doctor and uh, fulfill certain tasks given to you by God, there is a measure given to you of the anointing. But there is also in that measure a possibility to reach a higher dimension that is the maximum you can ever operate uh, with. And uh, that is what I call a superior anointing. Is you driving your motor vehicle on the highway, the ability of the car is to hit 100, 200, 220 kilometers per hour. You are driving it at 60. You are still moving. But you see, your moving does not speak of you reaching the maximum potential of that vehicle. Some of the ministry that you've been driving, some of the assignment that you've been running, were really going on total space. You, 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 you are moving, but you are not hitting the maximum 
ability and potential of that which God had given you. You are preaching, but you are not reaching what you're supposed to reach through your preaching. You are praying for the sick, you are singing, you are doing all kind of things that God is asking you to do, but you are not reaching your full potential. As a businessman, you are sowing, you are working, and the reward that you're getting, the, the, the harvest that you are having is so little compared to what you are putting in. You are operating in a low anointing. When there is a superior anointing in your life, what normally you used to take you a full year to do you begin to see it fulfilled in one week I that was a prophetic word I for somebody it. I am sensing in the atmosphere that there will be acceleration in somebody's life I receive let me try this out. I am sensing acceleration coming on somebody's life today. That. If it is you I'm talking to, say, I receive it. I receive it. Uh, please have a seat. A superior anointing is the high anointing that you have to get from today. What used to be difficult will become easy. I receive it. From this day. Whatever you have known as closed doors will break open before you. I receive. I decree and I declare as an authorized mouth of God. As from today, what was known as impossible will be made possible for you. I receive. In the name it. of Jesus. Acceleration in everything you do. I receive. Your church is about to move from 100 people to 1,000, to 5,000, to 10,000. God is in about to move your finance from 1,000 rand, 1,000 dollars. I see millions of rand, millions of dollars coming your way. In Jesus' name. My God is about to do exceedingly, abundantly, Amen. above all you ask and hope for. I just don't know who God sent me to speak I to. Receive. But I stand as an authorized mouth of God. I declare it over you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise I in the name of receive. Jesus. So the first one is a normal standard of the anointing. The second level of the anointing is a superior anointing. There mm. are people who carry a superior anointing. Everywhere they go, something happens. Mm. Men and women will run from west, east, north, and south to come and tap into it. Because what they have is not common. What they have is higher is superior i am talking about you from I this day it. forward mm. something greater than what you have known will happen in your life in the I name of jesus receive that it. your forehead say i receive it i receive it wherever you are watching me from from this day forward Something greater, something higher is about to manifest in your life. Oh, I in the name it. of Jesus. Jesus. You will not cry like yesterday. No. You will not fall like yesterday. I will save it. Bye-bye to the troubles of yesterday. I will save. Bye-bye to the defeat of yesterday. I receive. I am announcing a new dawn in your life I today. I receive it. Something higher. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Now please have a seat. The third level of the anointing I have shared with you is a fatherly Anointing. Now, this anointing is not just given to anybody. The fatherly anointing here is not to be confused with the ability you have to make babies. A father is more than a baby maker. Amen. Amen. 
while I'm speaking about the Father, allow me to open a bracket and say, when we relate to a person as our Father, we are aligned with the Word. There are men and women used to bring confusion in the body of Christ and attacking the fact that they are fathers in the Lord. They understand nothing of the spirit, nothing of the scripture. They are in, in ignorance and stand to speak in ignorance. The concept of spiritual father is well documented in the scriptures. Paul related to Timothy as my son in the Lord. Timothy's spiritual father was not his biological father. In the first book of Corinthians chapter 4 verse 15, Paul said to the Corinthians, For though you may have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. And he carried on and said, for in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. He solidified his position toward the Corinthians and in their lives as a father. He said, you may have many leaders, many mentors, many instructors, but you do not have many fathers. You have to have one that stands in your life as a father. After the victory of the young son of Jesse called David, the Bible said that the soul, the king of Israel, three times asked, whose son is he? Because you see, your victory has a lot to do with who is your father. That's right. I believe. I believe. Your biological father is an indication of where you're coming from. Your spiritual father is an indication of where you are going. I see you going places. I receive. I say, I see you going In places. In Jesus' name. It is good to have a pastor. It is good to have an apostle. But nothing beats having a father. That's right. Please be seated. When I speak about the third dimension, the third dimension is a fatherly dimension of the anointing. It goes beyond you having a disciples and you having a disciple or you having a, a, a little church, or a little grouping. The fatherly anointing is one anointing that is rare and it's high. Is an anointing that gives one man a voice in a nation, in a region, that elevates him and multiplies him in others. It is an anointing that goes beyond local position, where people start claiming that I am here for long and therefore I am the father. One is not the father in a region, a father or carrying the fatherly anointing simply because he's leading a small group or a big platform of other pastors. You may be the longest staying in that region and not be the father of it. A father has nothing to do with a natural recognition. Right. Where men have said that uh, you stood here, you have been in every funeral in town, you have uh, visited everyone in hospital, none of them got healed until they die. So we recognize you as the father. When you see somebody claiming at all costs that he is the father of the land, I promise you, you have found one who's not. Help us, Lord. I have biological children. It has never happened that I call a meeting and say, I am your father. I am your father. Repeat after me. You are my father. I don't have to do that. They know who the father is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Now, 
This is not to say that uh, we have men and women, all of them who stand old are not fathers. There are fathers in every region. There are fathers in every location. There are fathers in every time. But when we're speaking about the fatherly anointing, we're talking about something that is not small, something that is high. Not only in the days of the Bible, but even in our time. I've been praying to God. I said, Lord, reveal to me who, who are the fathers in our land. Who are the fathers in our time? And let me tell you, I may not know all of them, but as I just go through countries by countries, many names pops to my spirit. And I say, I know God, you have established men and women. Some of them may not be as you will want them to be, but they carry a fatherly anointing. Amen. Congo has known many fathers. And even as we go, we can see in the Democratic Republic of Congo, God grooming and making and molding more people, not only to make babies, but uh, who are carrying that fatherly anointing. Oh, it's an Jesus. anointing. It's an element from God. It's an ability that God gives you. And because of that ability, you stand, you can accommodate, you can multiply yourself in, you can lead fathers mm. we had many fathers in a democratic republic of congo men and women of uh, different walks of life in the bracket when we say father i am talking about fathers and mothers in fathers here please understand i am also referring to women who are carrying that anointing I the, the, there it. are women like maria Atta who in a time carried a great anointing and birthed nation in the spiritual reign. Mm. Are you hearing me? I was saying the Democratic Republic of Congo, some name pop my spirit. They may not be all that there is as fathers or men or recipients that carry the fatherly anointing, but I am reminded of a man called Muse Aydina Baal. He led a church that is still today a revolution in Zambe Malamu church. I am reminded of my own treasure, my precious gift, Jacques Andre Vernot, who Glory to Jesus. still speaks today through me. His anointing, his work, his labor is multiplied to in, two, in thousands of people across the globe. I am just one of them. There was a couple, a man and woman, who went to be with the Lord not too long ago. They started a very hard ministry. Nobody understood them. They made a mistake, but they carried an anointing that was somehow not understood. It was a fatherly anointing. I'm talking about the couple of Olangi. Olangi. They led a ministry in the DRC. A ministry based on spiritual warfare. Still living, we have many other names that a man can uh, throw on the table when we speak about fathers. We will talk about people like Apostle Leopold Mutombo, Jean Bosco Kindomba of Saint Precieux, Espen Bacadi. They may, some of them, not be too old, but because of what they are doing, right. you can see the grace of fathers. I will carry on and speak about Apostle Mbi, a man who served God it is said that uh, someone had put poison in his food to kill him but by the grace of God is still living and his legacy is being sustained by his son one that I know and I have related to in a very close personal way Apostle Holland Dalo he is a father he carries a special grace an anointing of fathers a man known as uh, Papa Nkelani he is old, but when you see the respect the pastors give him, you understand his impact in their lives. And there are many fathers, not only in, in uh, uh, the list I have given, there is far bigger than what I have said. As I say again, don't hold me captive and don't hold me just on what I say. 
if I did not mention your name, it does not mean that you're not a father. It just means that I did not mention your name. <laughs> when we look at Zimbabwe, it, the, 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 the country next to us, flourishing in many levels and really attacked by the enemy in the economy and so forth. But spiritually, we look at people like a Papa Ezekiel Guti. Those of you who are from Zimbabwe will all know this great man of God, old but still pushing for Jesus Christ, Zaoja, forward of faith. Emmanuel Makandiwa, Bishop Tudo Bismarck, Pastor Tom Duchel. Now the list can go on and on. I am not talking about good pastors. I am not just talking about pastors who have good churches. I am talking about those I perceive in the Holy Ghost have the element of fathers, the anointing of God. Now some, some name I have mentioned may meet your expectation. You may shout for it while others may bring you disappointment. But I don't want to enter into your personal problem. I want to remain the preacher on the pulpit. In South Africa, ladies and gentlemen, I am reminded of Nicholas Bengu. In the 1950s, he started a movement, Africa back to God. He's a father, way gone, but still alive through the work that he had performed. And Jay Sintole. Till now, we're talking about N.S. Gumbi. Now, some of you may have a personal problem with uh, someone I may mention, especially if they're still alive. And uh, you think that the past part, are you sure? <laughs> Christian Family Church is led by a great man of God, Theo Volmarans. I perceive in him the anointing of a father, Pastor Ray Macaulay of Rema Bible Church, Prophet T.A. Ralekolela. I see the anointing of a father in Prophet Shepherd Bushiri of ECG. Archbishop Zondo. Oh, yes. And many more. What I'm going to say, if I've not mentioned your name, this is not the purpose of listing those who are fathers. I am merely making an example of those I perceive to have carried or to have a fatherly anointing. I the love Lord you, my father. Raise them. The, the Lord, Lord has raised them as voices. Spiritually, oh, when they speak, it's not only for the mushroom ears of men to hear, but the principalities in the atmosphere mm. align as these men stand and speak. Mm. It is funny as we look at our generation, the number of fathers that we see specifically locked in one part of the world. Mm. I'm talking about Nigeria. I speak today with no fear of being contradicted that uh, the fatherly anointing that I am speaking about today is more seen concentrated in Nigeria than in any part of right. the globe. It mm. is shocking, but it is a reality. Archbishop Benson Idaosa. Oh, yes. Mm. A man who was strong, bold in his faith. A man whose legacy is louder than most of those who are alive with microphone and amplificators. Mm. A man standing strong in God, who's too strong in God in his time. Did he die? I don't know. Because everywhere I look, I see the working of what he had labored for. Mm. I wish I had the opportunity in my lifetime to have personally met Archbishop Benson Idaosa. But there are many more today who still carries this fatherly anointing. Pastor at the boy of Redeemed Christian Church, Bishop David Oyedepo of Winners Chapel, Bishop Michael Conco. Papa mm. Ayo Orisha oh, Jaffo. Yes. 
Bishop Paul Nwachuku mm -hmm. of Grace of God, Dr. D.K. Olukoya of Mountains of Fire, Pastor William Kumui of Deeper Life, Pastor Matthew Ashimoloa Whoa! of KICC. Hallelujah. Uh, I just don't know if the world know what we have. Every time I had the privilege of speaking with Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, what came out of his mouth was literally the oracles of God. Mm. He carries a special anointing for his generation. Mm. No wonder Europe is shaken by yes. the KSEC ministry. And for that, we bless the Hallelujah. living God. Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, as I speak, in our time, we are privileged to see men and women carrying a dose of grace, a dose of anointing as not seen previously, not seen before. Yes. May God carry on in the name of Jesus. pushing this work through his sons and daughters. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I say this. Please understand, I am just merely making an example. There are many, many more who carry this anointing. And please forgive me if I have not mentioned your name. As I have said, I recognize your anointing if it is from God. And if you are on that, I wish I had a longer list a minute. I wish I had a longer list. When I look at Ghana, I see Archbishop Duncan William. Yes. I have not met him, but the anointing in him is clean. The anointing in him is sharp. He is a father carrying a fatherly yes. anointing. Dr. Manson Octabil, Bishop Tag Award. Mouse, mm. and also the pastor that you have in mind. I mentioned him in your mind. <laughs> now, the food I mentioned, I have spoken about. I spoke, a stand, I spoke of a standard anointing, I spoke of a superior anointing, I spoke of a fatherly anointing, and I'm speaking now on an anointing that is rare. Some of the people I have mentioned may have. On them, this anointing, I just don't know. The only thing I know, mm. when the Lord spoke to me vividly, He told me there will be 12 men in your generation oh, that will God. carry this anointing. Mm. To date, ladies and gentlemen, my hands up. I will not stand and say, I know who the 12 are. I may know one, two, three of them, but the rest I do not know. I do not even know. If all the carrier of this anointing to date know that they carry it, I am talking about the supreme anointing. Mm, mm. There are people I have mentioned as fathers who may carry this anointing. I don't know, but I know that this supreme anointing will rest on 12 men in my generation. And these 12 it. men will give birth to generation of men and women who will serve God like an army of crazy folks. We will save it. The supreme anointing I've been seeing throughout the scriptures. Noah was not an ordinary man. Noah did not just carry an anointing. Noah was not just a, a carrier of a superior anointing. Mm. Noah was not just uh, carrying a fatherly anointing. What is seen in Noah that saved an entire generation. That animals obey the voice of God under him. That a male and female went to his ark was what is called the supreme anointing. Moses may have been just born as an ordinary child but the cost of his life revealed to us that he was not ordinary. He was not just one anointed. He carried a high level of the anointing. He was not just a father. He carried a supreme anointing. No wonder 
God spoke to Moses and said, consider you are God and this is your people. God speaking to Moses, a mere man, he said, consider mm. your own brother who is standing as a servant carrying an anointing. Consider him to be your prophet mm. and you will be God for these people. Now, this does not just happen to everybody. Moses was not just anointed. Mm. He carried a supreme anointing. There is a man known as Enoch. The Bible does not speak much about him. We just know that he walked with God. If you will ask me, how do you want to be known after you have gone? Oh, do you want the world to know you as somebody who was accurate in his prophetic? No. I want to be known simply as somebody who walked with God. Hallelujah. When we speak about walking with God, we are not talking about taking a tour with God. Mm -mm. We're talking about living everything that you gotta live Rose. with God. And the Bible speaks about Enoch. And mm. the Bible says that the Enoch walked with God and he was no more. Because God took him. This man did not know death. Mm. He did not die an ordinary death. He was not anointed. He was not just a carrier of a superior anointing. He did not just carry a fatherly mm. anointing. What was on him was a supreme anointing. Elijah, the Tishbite. What this man did is not ordinary. Elijah called fire and fire came down. Amen. Not once. At will. Mm. In Mokamel 4, fire came down. And as he was on the hill, and the king sent a commando to him to pick him and bring him to the king. He said, If I be a man God, well, English say man of God, but you see in Hebrew, we don't have the of, so we say man God. So every time they say man of God, in English, you must always, in your mind, understand the Bible saying that this is a man God. That's why in serving God, there is no higher title than being a man God or a man mm. of God. You can be an archbishop, but you don't beat being a man God because you are Sometimes you look like a man. Sometimes we're shocked. You mm -hmm. look all like God. I receive it. Are you hearing me? Elijah called fire, said to them, If I be a man of God, may fire come on you. And fire came on them. He was not just an ordinary man, he was a man carrying that anointing mm. that he passed on to Elisha, who carried double portion of his spirit. Just in the New Testament, how do you conceive what Peter did? Mm. Peter was not just an ordinary person. Among the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, Jesus came to him beginning to see what happened as he opened his mouth with the revelation of the spirit. He said to him, Peter, you are Peter, but upon this rock, I shall build my church. Why? Because the death of the revelation that came from him was not ordinary. That's why the 12 or the rest of the 12, the 11, could not tap into it. Mm. In the book of Acts chapter 5 verse 15, the Bible says, people brought the sick and they laid them on mattresses on the way that Peter, as he will pass by, not James, not Philip, mm -mm. Peter, as he will pass by, that his shadow may fall on them and they'll be healed. Cancer, HIV, uh, sugar diabetes, blood pressure, whatever it was, as Peter, a man in the outside, but gratified by this kind of anointing that was on him. As Peter will move by, 
a shadow falling on certain people that got healed. Supreme anointing. Nobody could understand it. Nobody could figure it out. Mm. Paul was not just a prince, the prince of the New Testament. He did not just carry an anointing. He did not just carry a superior anointing. He did not just carry a fatherly anointing. He carried a supreme anointing. In the book of Act 13, verse 11, I'm always perplexed. How did he do it until I begin to see the same anointing operating in me? Robo sete Ria Basaya. Hear this. In the book of Act 13, verse 11, mm. Paul is trying to minister to carry his assignment to win a soul. And next to his assignment, meaning the proconsul, there is a sorcerer known as a sorcerer. His name is Elimas. While Paul is preaching the gospel, Elimas is doing the chikicha, chikachacha. Paul is preaching, and this man is doing what he, he knew how to do a sorcerer, cursing the gospel. Trying to pull down the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ being presented. Paul turned and looked at him. And this, the Bible says, the spirit of God came on Paul. Verse 11, he said, the hand of the Lord is upon you, Elimas. From this day forward, you will turn blind for a time. It is said, this man, the sorcerer. Became blind. Yes. Have you ever seen it in Hallelujah Ministries? Oh, yes. Glory to Jesus. May I decree and declare before midnight tonight, every sorcerer stopping your progress will be stricken with blindness. In the name of Jesus. I say, will be stricken with blindness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. How did he do it? Mm. He did it through the anointing that he carried. In the book of Acts 19, the Bible says he met some disciples and he questioned them about the type of baptism they were baptized of. And they say the baptism of John the Baptist and he led them to the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And thereafter, he, and he laid hands on them, the spoken tongue. He baptized them again in the name of Jesus. So when you read down to verse 12, the Bible says, verse 11, God began to do Unusual miracles. Now, right. the word miracle is powerful. But when you carry a supreme anointing, it is not just miracles. It's unusual miracles. They, they, they start thinking, this guy is paying them. Because you see, it is so unusual. Mm. Mm. At 19... Verse 10, the Bible says, God began to do unusual miracles. Look at the person next to you say, unusual miracles are about to take place. Unusual miracle is about to take place. From this day forward, ladies and gentlemen, I announce to you that there will be unusual things I taking place in your life it. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Verse 11, they say, sorry, not verse 10. Verse 11, the Bible says, unusual miracle began to take place the through Paul. Verse 12 reveals something really unusual. People use handkerchief or aprons. And they just, the assignment was that it may touch the body, the mere mm. body of this servant mm. of God. 
who yesterday was called Saul and now is Paul and they take it to the sick as they apply the same handkerchief something happened I see pastors doing that I honor your faith I know you're forcing it. You're trying it. Because you're a man of faith. You're a woman of faith. Take it! But you see, you do it at ease. He did it at ease. They had no reference before. Nobody mm -hmm. did it before in that way. Simply because he carried yes. a supreme anointing. Mm. Jesus is Lord. I just wanted to say something. I stopped there, right there, right there. I don't just carry an anointing. I don't just carry a, a superior anointing. I don't just carry a fatherly anointing. Somebody. And for God, I give him all the glory for the supreme anointing. Ladies and gentlemen, on this altar, flows a supreme anointing. I receive it. On this altar, from it, from this altar, flow a supreme anointing. Somebody receive. I say it again. From this altar, flows a supreme I anointing. Receive you are partaker it. of the supreme anointing of God. I May something it. unusual take place in your life. In the name May of God Jesus. begin to do what he promised you to do. I in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is Lord. The, 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 there are certain things that I see in the Lord I don't know how to share because I don't know if you will catch it the supreme anointing brings a lot of trouble yes. but it's an unusual dimension mm. and I, every time you get in touch with something of that nature mm. it doesn't matter how hard your life has been it will never be the same again. Amen. When you Jesus. look across the globe, the Lord may open your eyes with the knowledge you have to check and see that one day what is on him mm. is not just an anointing. It's a supreme anointing. I receive it. When the supreme anointing operates in you, even the dead will live again. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. What was gone will be found again. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how broken it may be, it shall be restored again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please, I have a seat. I had promised to close here. I had promised that I will deal with this. And this is the end of it. Amen. And in the next five minutes, I will just read. Because I got to pray for you and let you go. How do you tap into the anointing? The first thing you must understand. That the anointing of God is not physical, it's spiritual. Second thing you have to understand is the anointing of God can be transferred. Freely you have received. Freely you can give. Just as Paul say, I want to impart some spiritual gift, he was not referring to the anointing. But just as he could impart spiritual gift, so the anointing can be transferred and imparted. The third thing that you got to understand is the greatest form of the anointing a man can ever have is such that has been given to him by another. That's right. It is well good to go on the mountain and kneel down and begin to ask God for the anointing. But let me 
inform you again. The highest and the greatest form of the anointing you can ever have is such as it is imparted, given unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. You may ask yourself, why? Why so? It's because God is generational. Mm -hmm. In his dealing, in his operation, in his working, God is generational. He calls one man and locks the rest in what is set with that man. Mm. He has a deal with him. He sets a covenant with him. And the rest are blessed or cursed based on this one. There will never be one called a Joshua unless there is one called a Moses. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If indeed you are Joshua, show me your Moses. Right. Why? Because Joshua can only stand and rise from the loins of a Moses. Amen. The greatest form of the anointing you can ever have is such as it is given unto you. There will never be a Ruth without a Naomi. That's right. There will never be an Esther without a Mordecai. There will never be an Elisha without an Elijah. There will never be a Peter without a Jesus. There will never be a Timothy without a Paul. If you are Timothy, show me your Paul. Now speaking about how do you tap into the anointing, again in a bracket, please understand. The anointing comes on you through impartation. But there are things that you are required to fulfill for such to be complete. If you do not do what you ought to do, the anointing may well be imparted on you. It will not stay. It will not stick. Because there are certain things that any Joshua must do. To have what is Moses has. There are things that any Elisha must do. To tap into what is Elijah has. That's why Elijah said to Elisha. You have asked something difficult. But if you see me go. It will be so. If you do not see me go. It will not be so. Meaning it depends on you. There is a condition. If you are willing and prepared, if you can walk the walk and run the journey, it shall be so. I perceive there are men and women that God is preparing for a great assignment. Mm -hmm. And right now, he's teaching you, is laying the foundation. Positioning you for what you are born for. Things that will happen through you will leave the world wondering. Because it will not be the hand of a man, it will be the hand of Yahweh, I your God. Will save it. Now very quickly, nine important things I just run down the nine. The first, if you got to tap into the anointing, a high anointing, you must be committed. Committed in the pursuit you can't be a part-time Christian and demand the attention of a full-time God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You must be committed. Two, you must be loyal to the source that the Lord has set through which you will receive that anointing. Loyalty is what is missing in many relationships. Many proclaim the goodness, the Bible says, but a faithful one, a faithful person, who will find? Right. You must be loyal. You must be faithful to your source. You must be given, devoted. Don't be divided. 
your allegiance should never be questioned. I am here. This is my Moses. But uh, I also have, uh, this is Moses, this is Poses. <laughs> Finally, you will come out with nothing. My mind is set. Amen. My course is clear. I will run one race. Amen. And this is my race. Loyalty. Without mm. loyalty, you are a jack of all trade. You will help no one. Mm. People who are everywhere find themselves nowhere. Amen. Third, if you want to tap into a higher anointing, be ready for service. Service here is in two dimensions. First, service to the one established in your life. You got to serve your man of God. Let me tell you something about ministry. Can simply be summarized by this simple word, serve. If you cannot serve men that you can see, you will not serve the God you don't see. Amen. That's right. I have served my spiritual parent physically, even when I had means to get others to serve them. I did not let the opportunity pass me by. I jumped on the boat. Because there is a secret with serving. God is not looking for just powerful souls. He's looking, with, he's looking for serving hearts. You must be ready to go a mile for others. You must be ready to serve others. Directly or indirectly, you must be of service to the source from where your anointing will come. And not only serve the source, but you also have to be ready to serve others. If you want to be on the pulpit and you are not ready to clean the chair, you are not worthy to stand up here. Yeah, yeah. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how right. big you are. I don't care how intelligent you may be. It's all about service. Amen. And Jesus Christ emphasized that when he spoke about washing others' feet. Mm. Someone who has been walking in the dust, washing his feet is not washing, is not the same as washing the feet of somebody who drove around. Mm. If you can wash the feet of the dusty man who walked a mile, the Lord say your heart is serving. Mm. It's a serving heart. So you cannot claim a higher anointing if you do not understand serving. Mm. Four, honor. Understanding honor gives you access. What, ladies and gentlemen, you are not ready to honor, you will never be prepared to receive. That's right. The law of honor will give you access, high respect, high regard. That's why, family, please understand, no matter the temptation, don't fall in the category of those who go out there and criticize everything. You will never become what you criticize. That's right. You criticize wealth, you'll never have it. That's right. You criticize greatness, you will never be great in your life. Honor. Learn to honor. Even when you do not understand the in and the out, I salute. Respect and honor does not diminish you. Yes. It increases you. Because humility is not weakness. That's right. It's not naivety. 
It is power under control. Five, if you want to tap into a higher anointing, live in total submission to authority. Authority established. There are people by nature who rebel against everything that is structured. They question everything. If you do not understand that the higher you want to go, the deeper you should dig yourself in. You will never go anywhere. Learn to lower yourself. It, it disturbs my spirit. Mm. When somebody stands and says, I, I know, I have, I can do. It's all about I, myself, and me. Fire on you. Fire. Learn to submit. Submit to what is established. If you do not understand submission, anointing in your hand will make you dangerous against those that are standing right. with God. You have to learn to submit. One day many years ago, the Lord revealed to me something that I had to share with my pastors. I put all my pastors together and I say, I began to teach them in series. And I was speaking about humility and submission and the relation with the pulpit. Out of that came a culture. No pastor who stands on AMI has asked for it. We do not have the thing I also want to preach. Mm -hmm. One of my sons was in that process came to me and said, Papa, me, I'm not preaching. Everybody's preaching. Me, I'm not preaching. I said, son, 365 days by two. You will not, not only preach. I don't want to see you sitting in front. I want to see you in the last chair. If you survive it, in my heart, I say, if you survive it, you are a son of mine. He survived it. Glory to Jesus. You don't come and say, Papa, me, I want to preach. No, I don't do those things. Mm -hmm. You got to live in submission. You don't compare yourself. He does it. Why not me? It doesn't happen here. Yeah. At it's all. free. It doesn't. If you have to follow the Holy Ghost, you got to learn to humble yourself. Mm -hmm. If you cannot submit, you go nowhere. Yes. You will carry nothing. Six, imitate. If you have to get that higher anointing, you must understand the power of imitation. In the first book of Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1, Paul said, imitate me as I also imitate Christ. The same he repeat, repeated in the first book of Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16. Therefore I urge you, the Bible says, imitate me. Copy paste me. Right. Peter could not hide even when he was denying Christ that he was one of them because the woman said, even your way of speaking is selling you out. <laughs> Are you hearing me? <laughs> you must emulate what you want to become. Right. That's why when you expose yourself wrong, you end up wrong. Your association affects you. A son does only what he sees his father do. If right. your father prays for the sick, mm -hmm. imitate that. As you want to tap into that anointing, imitate that. It doesn't matter where Hallelujah Ministries is. In Johannesburg, in uh, Australia, in Qatar, in, I'm just speaking, in India, wherever it may be. If it is not done like here, it's not AMI. Right. Hallelujah. For it to be AMI, it must be done the same. Paul took it as a preaching. He's speaking, he's teaching and say, imitate me. Seven. 
You must die to yourself. Jesus. If yourself, the self is not dead, you will not tap into this anointing. Mm. It will be about you. As soon as you begin to see that anointing vibrating, you want everybody to applaud you. You must allow the you you know to be crucified. Jesus, Jesus said, unless you pick up your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of me. You must learn to beat yourself. It's not about you. Amen. Look at the person next to you. Say, how many times should I tell you? It's not about you. How many times do I tell you? It's not about you. Oh, Jesus. Keep us humble. Keep us humble. And already you're feeling funny. What do you tell me? It's not about me. No, it's not about you. It's solely about Jesus. It's Hallelujah. not about how powerful you are, how great you are. It's about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So it requires that you die to yourself. Mm. Some people with a very small dose of the anointing, you must see. They are anointed. They pray for you like this. Oh God. Look at the person and she say, calm down. Calm down. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. Die to yourself. Somebody once told me, you keep on saying your name is Alf, look out. I say, it's my name. I promise you, I can show you my ID. It's really my name. But of course, the person was asking to understand whether when you speak your name, are you making it about you? No. Mentioning my name is a spiritual stain. Mm -hmm. In Luke chapter 1, hear this. In Luke chapter 1, when angel Gabriel spoke to Zechariah about the child that had to be born, and this man doubted him, you know what the angel said? He said, my name is Gabriel. I stand in the presence of the Lord. There are people who, who just do not know. Mm. The level of knowing is so heavy that even a muscle guy will not carry it. Mm. When I stand and I mention my name, just know, even if it was hard, it's over. It's over. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yes. It's over. Here, my name is a spiritual code. It's an expression of a deal in covenant between a man and God. You were not there when he spoke to me. Oh, yes. It is not just, it doesn't matter, even the devil knows. The angel. Being doubted by the priest. The Bible says he stood and say, My name is Gabriel, and I stand before the Lord. I can't say my name is Gabriel. Gabriel is there. That's my son. That's my son, the minister. All the way from Europe. Glory to Jesus. That's Gabriel. Now, when I speak, those small devils and the flying devils, when they hear, my name is Off Lukau. Oh, yes. It's over. 
destroy me. You will fill me. Love me. Hate me. You will not ignore me. Uh -huh. Don't be jealous now. Don't be jealous. I love that. Please be seated. If you want that level eight, get ready for pain. No pain, no gain. Oh, I wish ministry was just uh, having good time on the microphone. If I do not know the pain that comes with ministry, I would have abandoned this thing long time ago. We don't do ministry for financial breakthrough. That's right. We do ministry because we love Jesus. Amen. We do ministry because he called us. It's an assignment. It's a burden. Hallelujah. Mm. Ministry is not somebody carrying your, micro, mm -hmm. your, your, your Bible behind you. And the glamour thereafter. Mm. Ministry is hard. Mm. I feel the pain of ministry. If you will see me in my spiritual state, you will see scars of all kind. I know how to roll on the floor. I know how to cry for hours. I know how to beat the ground. I know how to run the race, though betrayed, though lied upon. I know how to bleed but still stand here oh and say, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I know how to be a biological father as if I have none for the sake of Christ. I know how to put myself last and put everybody first. Now, my beloved, if you do not understand that ministry is not for fame, the anointing you get, mm. when the enemy begins to weep mm. and put pressure, you will throw it. You say, oh God, oh God, oh God, remove this. <laughs> I prayed for a young man who so desired to have his spiritual eyes open. It's a true story. And he fell under the power. We were in the retreat. He began to see things happening in the spiritual realm. And he was so blessed in the retreat. A protected area of prayer. To tell us everything that you were seeing. Though some of them were not very, but he was beginning. He spoke about things that were found in the main house. We were in a smaller house in the same yard. His eyes opened as I prayed for him. He liked it. He felt like now they will feel me. <laughs> Whatever they are hiding, I will find it. <laughs> that was on a Friday or Saturday. We went through the weekend. On Monday, he went out there and true battle began. Monday afternoon, as I came back from school, I was still studying writing my trick. This young man came back to me. Remember, his level of seeing was not that great. My own was not that great. He came to me and said, you prayed and my eyes open? I said, thank God. He said, pray that it may close up. <laughs> I said, what went wrong? He said, I don't want to see what I'm seeing. Because you see, whatever you see, sees you. Right. Hallelujah. Any demon I see, saw me. Mm. The angel you have seen, sees you. And the mere fact you can see 
I see almost everything. Almost everything. When I tell you I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit. Now I see almost everything. Do you also want to be seen? Do you also want to be seen? Ken. Is that your name, Ken? Ken, do you also want to be seen? Are you sure? You, it's, it's still processing. Is he talking to me? Are you Ken? Do you come to church here? You're a visitor from Kenya, from Mombasa. Glory to Jesus. The, the, the reason why I said you want to see is because you, you came here desiring something. It's like you're serving God. You're working and you're serving God. Are you married? Yes. Do you know Yvonne? Yvonne is my wife. Yvonne is your wife? Yes. Yvonne is your wife? Yes. Do you know Ryan? Ryan is my son. Is your son? Yes, sir. And uh, who will you call? Yes, she's expectant now. She's pregnant, right? Yes, sir. Because I can see Hallelujah. her. Hallelujah. She's one, two, three, three months pregnant. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. You say this is the first time you're coming. You are a guest from Kenya. Yes, sir. But you're serving God. <laughs> Worship center. Worship center, yes, sir. And that's the reason why I came. Is that the reason why you came? Yes, sir. And your heart said that I don't want the worship center. I want it to be AMI. Yes, right. Is that true? Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. All right. I I'll pray for you at the end. Please, let me finish my thing. <laughs> let's just get into it, isn't it? Hear me. The devil like it or not, there will be an increase of grace and power. I receive it. You will tap into a higher anointing. I receive it in Jesus' name. For the anointing, you must be ready for the pain that goes with it. Mm. Please sit down. There are sons of man here. I pray for you more than you pray for yourself. Amen. Ah, I, I remain on my knees. I remain uh, uh, not once, many times. I knelt for so long that standing is difficult. So long, physically, not spiritually, physically. I've been on my knees in one position for so long that standing up is difficult. And I'm not praying that God may give me a new car. Uh -uh. <laughs> I am praying for you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless and increase you. Man and hear this. And the, this is not done so that you may say thank you. I don't pick up the call and say that I pray for you for three hours. Hey, three hours. So you may say thank you. No, it's none of your business. My boss is one, Jehovah. Hallelujah. But you see, you will quit ministry. You will not do this. You will be a parting pastor. A shopping pastor. A restaurant eating pastor. Oh, oh God. A every mall walking pastor. If you do not understand this part of ministry, it's mm. boring. Mm. I was locked from Monday till today. I just came out. And I was in a small of my own place. My place is nice, but it's still my place. It's not your place. So I was there. Locked. I was sleeping on the floor, but my bed is nice. Oh, God. And I'm not doing it for anything. If you want a higher anointing 
and that you do not get ready to pay the price, the pain that goes with it. You have a problem. The Bible says when the Philistines heard that David was anointed, they grouped against him. People will insult you. The news will speak against you. Sometimes on matters that makes no sense. Brothers in the church will arise against you. Right. Those who are supposed to stand for you will stand against you. They will drag your name in the mud. Mm. It's part of the anointing. Oh God. Part of the anointing. There is pain that goes with it. When you say, Lord, give me a new level of the anointing, you must say, you must know, new level brings new devils. Right. But it doesn't matter how many of them that will arise against you mm. Mm. if you are Firm in God, He will never leave you nor forsake you. I receive it. He will give you victory. I believe it. Last for the anointing. I'll release the anointing now today. Some of you will go home shivering. Mm. Last, that is the ninth. I am giving you the ninth of the nine point I have given you on the ninth month of this two zero one nine sacrifice when I pray the way I was praying it is sacrifice, but there is a different level of sacrifice. Yes. You must pay the price for the anointing you want to have. Not just pay the price in serving God. Paying the price for the anointing you want. Mm. I, I come to church and this is the anointing I want. And when they say receive it, I say amen. <laughs> you, you, you miss it. There are people who have been coming from very far. They had to have a visa, buy a ticket, wait in the queues from plane to plane to be here. They did it once, they did it twice, oh they did it thrice. They Jesus. are still coming. Glory to Jesus. Mm. Mm. There are people whose data finishes not in sending WhatsApp message to the boyfriend or girlfriend on just connecting to the source of the anointing, watching Pastor Aflukau mm. and claiming the miracle. Yes. And if the data goes off, they fill up, they reload. Sacrifice. If you cannot pay the price for, for it, let me tell you, in English, you will not have it. That's right. You'll be close to it, it will never be yours. What is it that is uncommon that you have done to get this? What? You were jumping? Mm -mm. You gave 100 rain on the altar? What is it that is uncommon that you have done to tap into it? 365 days I laid on the floor. 365 days I begged God. 365 days I forgot the world and the world forgot I existed. Some people thought, who knew me, thought I died. Others that are relocated. I went missing. I was locked in my room. 
365 days, beating the ground, seeking the Lord. Mm. What is it that you have done that is uncommon? That you came to church? That you fought to sit where you are sitting? There is sacrifice for what you want. If you understand sacrifice, you live a better life in the spiritual realm. Sacrifice releases power. Cancer cannot beat you if you understand sacrifice. Mm -mm. Poverty cannot beat you if you understand sacrifice. Mm. Ministry cannot go down if you understand Jesus. sacrifice. You have to learn to be on the threshing floor and labor. Mm. Be on the altar and agonize your mind. You literally pray for three minutes as a pastor. Monday you pray for three minutes. Tuesday you pray for two minutes. God help. I pity whoever follows you. I cry for whoever calls you pastor. Because you take them no way. You are a disgrace in the kingdom. Right. Jesus said, you could not watch and pray for one hour. Mm. Mentioning time of prayer. Minimum time. He said one hour. He said you could not pray for one hour. Watch and pray that you may not fall in temptation. Because the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. Right. You stand before people and tell them receive. Receive what? And you come and say, Daddy, I don't understand how my church is not going. Do, do you understand sacrifice? When I have too many things to do and I'm busy, the minimum time on my knees is eight hours. Now I'm saying this so I may maybe inspire some of you. Mm. And you come, you feel that what made that person heal is the fact that I was shaking my hand. Try it. The devil is a liar. Shake even your body. Hey. The secret is sacrifice. What have you ever given God that shook you? What? Yo, your giving to God is casual. But you're hoping to receive something unusual. Something uncommon. Something miraculous. You are stuck in the circle of the ordinary because you release only what is ordinary. You break that circle when you begin to do things that are extraordinary, your prayer life, your giving, your consecration, your love to others. How many of you in the past year went to visit one orphan? Because it's an orphan. How many of you? How many of you have the heart even to think that there are orphans in this world? There are widows who have nothing to eat. On top of that, they are battling sickness and diseases. Greater than that, they have weight to provide for children they cannot take care of. How many of you ever thought of that? You carry on your life asking God to heal the knee problem. What well, they are bigger problem you cannot sacrifice for. Oh God. Have mercy, oh God. I'm not here trying to condemn anybody. I'm just hoping that as I speak about something such as sacrifice, I need to be more real. So to push you and open your eyes, it is in no way meant to pull you down and press you and show you how bad you are. I'm just hoping that for this God, you can do more. Because he has more for you. Mm. 
If you will do what God say, if you're a pastor, you're a mother, you have somebody who's sick, you have someone who's missing, you have a situation in your finance, you have whatever the case may be. Today, tomorrow, Sunday, labor for it. Those of you who did not raise altars, that's a great secret. Raise your altar with me. Let us have an army of men and women who will take this word for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Something that will happen today. My ministry is practical. Mm. My ministry is practical. I want to hold you Jesus. and take you there. Mm. It's nothing to do with ceremony. You are here. You have an issue that is standing in front of you. And everything that uh, you are doing, you are asking yourself, Lord, come down for me. Mm. And hear me. I want us to do two things. One, I will do. The rest, you will do. Let, let, let me tell you what you should do. If you have a photo, show me. Lift your photos. Today, tomorrow, the day after, this is what we'll do. Makaria Babaseya. I was born in October. God knew. Why? I was born differently. Hallelujah. I don't live life for myself. We'll do two things. If you have a prayer request, lift it up. Glory to Jesus. The world must know that there is a God. Amen. Now we do two things. Whatever it is, lift it up. If you have nothing to lift up, it's okay. There was no call that you may bring something in your hand. If you brought it today, we thank God. You have your family members and things like that. Now look at me. You see, whatever prayer request you have, leave it on my altar. Don't bring it physically. Leave it on my altar. You will know that I serve a true God. Amen. God wants you to hear this. Whatever you brought as a request, I'm taking it. Mm -hmm. I am taking your battle from you. I will save it. I say, I am taking your battles from you. Glory to Jesus. Those of you are watching me, wherever you are, it doesn't matter which type of battles. I want you to know from now, as we go this weekend, God wants you to bring it. Mm. I want to adopt your battle. Mm. You are fighting over your marriage. Mm. You are fighting over your loved one who's sick. And the person is still in bed. Nothing is happening. Try my God Amen. this weekend. Things are locked in your life. Finances are not materializing. Things are difficult. You yourself, you came. You are sick. You came. You are trusting God for your breakthrough. Hear me. That battle is not yours. Give it to me. Amen. I stand as a priest today. I say, give it to me. Oh God. Are you hearing me? I say, we'll do two things. Two things, two things. The first thing you do, you spiritually take that battle, you bring it on the altar. I'll tell you how to do it spiritually now. It doesn't mean that you cannot pray for it, but it is no longer your priority. Amen. The second thing we'll do today, your priority this weekend is that you may have an encounter with God. I will receive it. Your battle can become a destruction of it. Hear me. Saul is supposed to have an encounter because of the assignment of God in his life. But when he went 
out there, he didn't go looking for the men of God for the encounter. Mm. He was looking for the missing donkey. Meaning he had an issue that demanded attention. So the man of God did, what he did is, he moved away the story of the donkey. He said, the donkeys have been found. And then, when that was moved, he anointed him. Mm. You will be anointed. I receive You it. will be anointed. Amen. I am seeing a touch of God to the supreme anointing. Reaching it. you today. The name there will be Jesus. an increase of grace and increase of the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Are you with me? Are you with me? Now, every prophetic word obey paves the way for a new level. I want, I want us to remove, remove my preaching, remove this, remove, remove that, remove that. I, I want you to pray. I will want to make an altar call now. Now, take those prayer requests you have. Take them. Close your eyes. Say, Lord. Lord. Today. Today. I want to cast my burdens. I want to cast my burdens onto Jesus. Unto Jesus. You know my heart. You know my heart. You know my prayer request. You know my prayer request. Today. Today. Prophetically. Prophetically. I bring it to the altar. 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 Oh God. Oh God. Deal with my dilemma. Deal with my dilemma. Oh God. Oh God. Deal with my issues. Deal with my issues. Oh God. Oh God. Manifest your glory. Manifest your glory. That I may testify. That I may testify. Today. Today. I give it all unto you, Jesus. I give it all unto you, Jesus. Now I want you to pray with your own word for 60 seconds, giving it to Jesus. Bringing it to the altar. Say, I'm dropping it on the altar of Afrokawo, on the altar of Alelia Ministries. That issue that I have with my health, with my family, with my relationship, I am literally dropping it there. Rokoto Shakata Magarabagogo Shekete Mareketa Kuria Kasata. Mazete Kerebe Soto Marekete Soto Jesus, 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 Jesus. Now, I want to pray for you. I want you to take your pictures, put them down. Take your pictures, put them down. Put your whatever you have, put them down. You can put them down now. Put them down. It hurts you. We have 12 minutes to go. Put them down. Put them down. Mm. Put them down. Put them down. Believe in your heart that something has happened. Thank put them you, down. Jesus. Put them down. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, your name is Mary. Are you Mama Mary? Mama Mary. Are you Mama Mary there? Yes. With, uh, you also, you Mary. Okay, let me tell you, Mama Mary, I, I, I don't, I don't want to do the one-on-one -on -one now. Don't, don't come, don't come, you'll tempt me, you came. Uh, all right, all right. Is this your family? Yes. This is your family? Yes. All right. This is Lingala, you speak Lingala? Yeah. 
Tu parles, tu parles français, tu parles lingala. Je suis congolaise. Vous êtes congolaise, maman. Oui. Ok. All right. When I was saying, maman, please put it down. She didn't want to put it down. You say you also marry. Marie. Marie is Mary, isn't it? Yeah. Is it say Mary, Mary? Uh-huh. All right. But I was not speaking directly to you. I was speaking to her. Maman, le Seigneur me dit ceci. Il y a un esprit qui tourmente ta famille et tes enfants. Tous tes enfants. C'est pourquoi tu vois des divorces d'or parmi tes enfants. Tu comprends? Oui. Vous comprenez, maman? Quand le Seigneur me dit, dépose ça, il dit ceci. Il a vu et il va agir. Mm. Vous êtes ici pour le IVP. Oui. On aura le temps de prier, n'est-ce pas? Dépose ça entre les mains de Jésus. Tous tes enfants, même ta santé. Tu te troubles avec ta santé. À cause du sucre, c'est comme la diabète. Oui. Tu as la diabète. Oui. C'est vrai. Oui. Et tu souffres, c'est comme le c'est quoi? Rhumatisme. Oui. Rhumatisme, oui. n'est-ce pas? Euh, ton cholestérol. Euh, oui. C'est ça aussi. Oui. Et puis je vois ton cœur. Oui. Ton cœur te donne des problèmes. Oui. Ne dis pas oui si ce n'est pas vrai. Oui, c'est vrai. Même, même mes enfants ont, ont aussi les problèmes de cœur. Tu as combien d'enfants Neuf avec toi. Neuf avec moi. Mmh. Donc tu as huit biologiques avec moi. Oui, oui. Ok, ça c'est bon. Et jusque-là, ce que tu es en train de voir avec tes enfants, ce n'est pas, c'est pas ce que tu veux comme mère. Tu ne peux pas voir un enfant qui a perdu son, sa femme euh, oui. malade du cancer. Oui. C'est qui C'est l'aîné. L'aîné a perdu son, sa femme. Oui. C'était une blanche Oui. Elle était une blanche Oui. Et je vois divorce, 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 divorce. Et l'autre là a des enfants pas mariés. On il, va arriver à ça. Il est en prison. Ne t'en fais pas, ça va arriver. Il And, y a aussi la, la... Oui, maman. You, you also, you marry. Oui. Oh, yes, yes, I'm married. You also, oui, Pat, you also French. I speak Creole and French. Ah, you speak Creole yeah. and French. I speak English also. And you speak English also. Yes. You speak English. Are you in America? I'm in America. Yes. Is this your son? That's my son. How many children do you have? I got three children. You have three children? Yes. How many girls? How many boys? I got one girl, two boys. You have one girl? Two boys. Two boys. Yes. Ah, okay. Each one of them have his father. Yes. Now, I'm seeing something. Married, not married. Not married, but married. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oui. Okay. I want you, as you go, start the process of divorce. What do you say? I say, when you go, start the process of divorce. Yes. Do you understand? Oui. Tu comprends ce que je dis? Oui, yes. Quand je dis que non, quand tu rentres, commence le process de, de, de divorce. Oui. Tu, tu, tu comprends ce que yes, je dis? Yes, yes, I did. Tu sais pourquoi j'ai dit ça? Yes, I did. Oui. Tu comprends? Oui. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm sending somebody to divorce. Just, it's not your matter. You don't understand what the Lord is showing me. She's married, but she's not married. Not that she's in a relationship. Paulin, c'est qui Paulin? Paulin, c'est, yes, c'est ce que je suis marié avec. Okay. I was married with him. Okay, yes. you are married to Paulin, but yeah. you're not married because it was just for document. I was married with him, but yeah. we're no more, div- we divorce now. Completely. Oui, j'ai fait le divorce. Paulin doit partir. Tu comprends? Oui. This man is not. You know, some, some good hearts we have uh-huh. brings us a lot of problems. Right. Mm-hmm. Are you understanding? Yeah, I'm listening to you. Tu connais Cathy? Cathy, c'est, mon, c'est ma fille. That's Cathy, my, my girl. Is that the girl my that daughter. you're talking about? Your daughter, Cathy. Yeah, Cathy, yeah. Tu connais Loulou? Loulou, c'est mon garçon. That's my boy. Tu connais Loulou? Loulou, oui. c'est ton garçon. Oui, that's my boy. Tu connais Jimmy? Jimmy, c'est, c'est, c'est lui ici. That's, that's him right here. You, you, you're staying with him? Oui, c'est, c'est Jimmy right here. This is Jimmy. Oui, yeah, c'est Jimmy ici quand il était petit. Et c'est Katie ici quand, il, quand elle était peut-être 14. Et... All right. When I say drop it, I am taking battles. Do you mm. understand? Thank you. I am seeing 
you, you, you have your own problems. That's we, why, as I'm looking at you, things are moving in your head. Yes, yes, you that's true. You feel like true. things are jumping in your that's body, true. especially in your hair. Yes, that's true. Is that correct? Yes, pass. Is it that's your first true. time coming here, or you've been coming here? Ah, uh, that's my second time here. This is your second time. Yes, pass. The relationship is not stable. You move from. How many fathers are your children have? Three, three fathers. Three, three fathers. Yes. So three children, three fathers. Yes, pass. Because I am seeing. Kathy with uh, Johnny. Yes. Johnny. That, that was my first husband. Yes, boss. Johnny was your first husband. Yes, boss. It's like a, somebody in uniform, like a military person. Yes, that's Jimmy with the military. Just, that is Jimmy. Yes, boss. And I am seeing Lulu with Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah, that's the liar. <laughs> yes, boss. Uh, he's a liar. Yes. <laughs> All right. Patrick, is that the liar? Yes, boss. He's I'm... a mechanic. Yes, boss. So you will not call him a mechanic, you call him a liar. Yes, boss. Hey. Yes, boss. I... Not, not me calling, no, you calling you him. Say. Yes, boss. All right. Yes, boss. And I'm seeing Jimmy with Judex. Yes, Judex, Raphael. Yes, boss. Judex. Yes, boss. That's true, boss. Now, now, every one of you, listen to me. God brought you in this place. You will not live here with the same battles. I receive it. If you're believing it, I want you to say, I receive it. I receive it. I was not calling you. I was telling mommy to drop her prayer request. Yes, yes, but uh, it seems like uh, you are Mary, just like uh, she's Mary. And that's why you are here. Yes, pastor. Hmm. I'm, used, I'm seeing you in a, like a dentist room. Yes, I do work with the dentist pass as you, a dental assistant. Okay, so you, you're a dental assistant. Oui, pass. All right. Can I tell you that your miracle will manifest today? I receive, receive it. it. Jesus. In the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus. Now, I, I, I got to do it from here. If you are here now, you drop your prayer request, lift your hands. Lift it. Say, Lord, Lord, I have faith. I have faith that today, that today, and this entire weekend, and this entire weekend, I will have an encounter with you. I will have an encounter with you. Say, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, do for me, do for me what I have never seen you do what before. What I have never seen you do. I make a claim in the spiritual realm. I make a claim in the spiritual realm. A claim for a higher anointing. A claim for a higher anointing. From this day forward. From this day forward. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. I will walk in power. I will walk in power. The glory of God will cover my life. The glory of God will cover my life. My entire life will turn around. My entire life will turn around. I am changing levels in Jesus' name. I am changing levels in Jesus' name. My family will testify. My family will testify. Those who know me will not recognize me. Those who know me will not recognize me. Because from this day forward. Because from this day forward. As Enoch walked with God. As Enoch walked with God. I will walk with my God. I will walk with my God. Lift both your hands and say, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Come on me now. Come on me now. Glorify Jesus. Glorify Jesus. In my life. In my life. Keep your hands up. Close your eyes. The Spirit mm. of God will do that because you prayed. Mm. I want your thirst. I want your thirst. You will experience the power of God today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It will come on you because God has it for you. I will see if it. you are here, you are a pastor. You are a serving pastor. You are a serving pastor. Pastor, minister, or servant of God. Wave to me. I want to pray for you like I did last time. Wave to me. You are a serving pastor. Take your belonging. Come in front. Come quickly. Only if you are a serving pastor. Not that you are an usher in the church. If you are a serving pastor. I want you to move from where you are. I want you to come. I want you to come. I want you to come. Rama, mama. We will pray for everybody, but I need to find someone must stand as a prototype of what God is doing. 
come quickly. If you are here, you are running an operation, a business. It's not an idea. You are an employer. You are in business. You're an entrepreneur. Wave to me. Your business, you're an entrepreneur. The church is covered with entrepreneurs. There is an anointing that God is releasing also for you. A high anointing. I want you to come also. I want you to come. I want you to come. And those of you are watching me, and you may not be here physically, but if you connect with what God is doing here today, something great will manifest in you. Amen. I want you to come. I want you to come. I want you to come. Now lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hand where you are. I want to let you know, if you see the manifestation of God small in my life, it is not anything special to me. Meaning that uh, it's not because I'm special. God told me that uh, he will take of the spirit that uh, he has placed on me. And uh, he will put it on many sons and daughters who are thirsty and are here I today. Receive it. The glory of God is about to manifest in many people's lives. Some of you have never seen anything in the spirit. But mm. after we have prayed, your eyes will open. You will begin to see the spiritual that. realm. There are people here. From today, you will begin to operate in the power of healing as you have never seen. I receive it. There must be hunger. You must thirst for it. If you thirst for it, it will become yours. Amen. There is a, a supreme anointing that is flowing from this place oh that will reach you wherever you are. Mm. Keep your hands as high. Even those of you are out. Those of you are right in the back there. Rama Sokoto. Something will happen. There are people who will begin to prophesy with accuracy I as it. never seen before. I receive. I, 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 am, I am giving you a word. If you receive it, it becomes yours. You will flow in the prophetic from this I day as never seen before. It. Are you thirsty for it? I am thirsty. Are you thirsty for it? I am thirsty. Are you ready for it? Amen. Are you ready for it? Yes, man of God. Hear me. It will come to those who are thirsty. Forget about who is next to you. Do not allow yourself to be distracted. Close your eyes and wait on him. If you don't close your eyes, you'll be waiting on me. Wait on Jehovah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. If you are thirsty for it, allow it to come on you. Allow it to come on you. Are you feeling it? I can see the glory of God is coming. I can see the glory of God coming. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Take it. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. All yours. All yours. All yours. All yours. All yours. Take it! Take it! Take it! On yours! On yours! On yours! There goes! 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 Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! There are people receiving it! Receive it! Your eyes are opening! Your eyes are opening! You are getting it now. You are there it goes, 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 all over the place. There it goes, 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 all yours, all yours, all yours, all yours. Natakoto, Shata, Rekete, Rekete, this is receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. All yours, all yours, 
Oh Dios, Degos, 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 Satan Robo Bosch, Yos, 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 Degos, 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 the floor gun, the floor gun, Degos, Take it, Take it, Take it, Yos. Shut up. Yos, yos. Yos, yos. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Take it. Shoma Take it. Take it, take it, take it. 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 Receive 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 it. The name of Jesus. Shut up. His grace. Oh God. Pray his grace. There goes son. There goes. Your time, your day. Take it. I will save it. Rokoto. Kenya will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. There goes. There goes my daughter. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Somebody Jesus. take it! Take it! Save it! In the name of Jesus. Never the same. Never the same. In the name of Never Jesus. Never the same. Receive. receive it, everybody. Receive it. Receive, receive. it. Receive it. Receive it. Take it. Take it. We receive it. Take it. We receive. In the name of Jesus. Hold the hand of the person next to you. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. Hold the hand of somebody. Hold the hands of somebody. Hold the hand of somebody Jesus. and lift those hands. Hear me. The anointing, Jesus. when it flows, requires you to flow with it. Amen. If you're still distracted, while receiving, while you're supposed to be receiving, you'll be waiting for the pastor. Forget about anybody next to you. What God wants to do is marvelous. You will never be the same again. Oh God. God is making you a weapon. I receive it. Lift your hand as high as you can get. I receive it. Lift your hands. Some of you will feel a flow. Don't resist it. Hear me. Don't resist it. Jesus. Don't resist Jesus. it. Jesus. It is for you Jesus. to have. If you have Jesus. to jump, jump. Receive. You're going to understand it. Lift those hands as high, oh as God. high, as high. Don't resist it. You are not here for anything. If the Holy Spirit wants mm. you to jump, jump. If you feel like a screaming, scream. If you fall, fall. It doesn't matter. Just don't resist it. Receive. If you resist it, the Bible shows that when you resist mm. the devil, it flees away from you. Yes. There is something about resisting that stops the flow. Don't resist it. Are you ready? Yes, we're Are ready. Are you ready to receive? We're ready. Some of you will feel it going through you. Lift your hands. Lift your Jesus. hands. I will count till three. At the count of three, it will come on you. One, two, three. Take it. Receive it. Take it. Receive it. Take it. Take it. Receive it. Take it. Receive it. Take it. We receive it. Take it. We receive it. Take it. Take it. Jesus.
Jesus' name. Jack it! Name of Jesus. Jack it! We receive. Yes, 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 we yes, yes. Don't resist it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. We receive. Take it, 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 yes. We receive it. Never the same. We receive. Never the same. At the back, we serve it. We receive. At the back, we serve it. In the name of Jesus. At the back, we serve it. I receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. There it goes. I receive. Your spiritual eyes are opening. Your spiritual eyes are opening. I receive it. Your spiritual eyes are opening. I receive. The prophetic power is coming. I receive. There it goes. I see it coming. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. I receive. Take it. I receive. Take it. I receive. Take it. I receive. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't I fight it. I receive it. Don't fight it. Are you ready? Take it. 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 I take it. 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 I receive it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The name take of it. Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive. 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 Yes. 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 Receive. Yes. 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 Receive. Yes. 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 Receive. Yes. Receive. Yes. 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 Receive. Yes. Receive. From this day, oh God, you'll never be the same again. I receive it. You'll never be the same again. I receive it. You will never be the same again. I receive, receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. There is a higher anointing. The name of Your Jesus. Your finances will never be the same again. I receive it. Your finances will never be the same again. I receive. There is a miracle in your bank account. I receive it. I said there is a miracle in your bank in account. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. There is a miracle in your house. I receive. There is a miracle in your house. I receive. Take it is your take it. I receive it. I receive. Jesus name. No more sickness. In the no name more of disease. Jesus, I receive. No more sickness. I receive. No more disease. I receive. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. So shall it be. Jesus it name. cannot be otherwise. I receive. Take your hands and put them on your head. Manakata Roboshea. Jesus. Rokoto Soyo. Mm. Across. Men and women are receiving. Ramazoko to show you. Thank you, Jesus. Men and women are receiving. I will see. Put your hands on your head. I will Your see. hands are Jesus' hands. Something is happening right now. There you go. I will see. Something is happening right now. Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. Across. Allow it to happen. There you go. I will see. There you go. Your hand on your head. Jesus. Bless yourself. I your hands on your head. Mana mama sete. Jesus. Robo soto. Mata raba baba baba. Nato shete. From mm. this day forward, Amen. the doors in front of you, one after another, mm. are opening up in the name of Jesus. I receive it. God is putting oil on your head. I receive it. Oil on your head. I receive it. Oil in your hands. I receive it. I speak prosperity in everything you do. I receive it. I say I speak prosperity in everything you do. I receive it. From this day forward, you will prosper in everything you do. I receive it. Wherever you are, you will prosper in everything you do. I receive it. What did not work before begins to work now I in the name of receive. Jesus. I break every yoke of the enemy, in the every name stronghold of, of death, every stronghold of poverty, mm. every spirit of stagnation. Yes. I release you to your next level. I release name. you to prosperity. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. I am seeing ministry opening doors. I will save. There are doors that God is opening for you. Oh God. Rebbe, you came to work on it spiritually. Mm. You came for something spiritual. Amen. You came for something spiritual. And God is giving it to you. I receive it. I said, God is giving it to you. I receive it. Not a robot said, nothing will remain the same. I receive My it. Name I said, Keep your hands on God. Jesus. Keep your hands on God. Keep on hand your hands on God. Rakata Soto. Jesus. Boyo Boshea. Jehovah. Mm. Jehovah. Take it, 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 take it. Rakato yoboshea. Masoto robosh. Magozoto. Oh God. Zete rebeko robosh. Mando sokoto. I'm seeing great ministry raising up. Amen. Great businesses raising up. Some of you are feeling already light on your shoulders. The burdens of the enemy is gone. Jesus. If you are here watching us, the same grace, the same glory is yours. I receive it. The same glory is your portion. In the name of Jesus. You'll never be the same again. Amen. You'll never be the same again. Amen. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh Call on him Call on him Call on him You are. 
it to you in the name of Jesus. Yours in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Call on him, Yahweh. I receive. You are Yahweh, yes, you are. I'm Alpha and Omega. You are. My daughter, come and take it. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Take it. Alpha and Omega. To you free. Nobody say. I receive it. Let's just wave to the Holy Spirit. Let's just hello the presence of God. Let's just acknowledge the higher anointing present in this place. Tonight indeed, we have received. Tonight, this oracle of God has declared and decreed and our lives will never be the same again. The man of God says, the higher anointing is an element. It's a spiritual element that comes on you to empower you to fulfill the call of God and the assignment of God upon your life that tonight we have received so come in agreement with me tonight under the supreme anointing of my father your father your life has been blessed by the man of God therefore your life is blessed somebody say my life is blessed as a superior anointed oracle of God has declared it to be so. I have nothing to declare. But tonight, I pray that as you go, you will go in the uncommon favor and the peace of Almighty God. And every declaration that the oracle of God has decreed, you have received.
receive. Go now in the peace of God and the uncommon favor of Almighty God be blessed. And can the IVP guests, those of us who have registered, be seated, take your seat quickly. God bless you.